What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I am really excited because we're going to be doing an unboxing for something that I've wanted for the channel for a really long time. Now in my opinion, throughout 2020, my video quality has definitely improved, except some videos have really poor lighting. And I've wanted to get this for a while. Luckily I was able to use my YouTube money to purchase it. And that is a ring light to test out. This is a Newer, I think I butchered the name, but regardless, this here is regular on Amazon for $75. It was on sale for $50 when I purchased it. This here includes a tripod, which I'm not expecting anything much from the tripod, but it also includes a bunch of attachments. So let's open it up and I'll give you guys a closer look. So here we are. And there is the lights. That looks really cool. It looks like a nice quality. I'm going to take everything out of the box first and show you guys, but this one does have some weight to it. We have the books, the manual, nothing in this. Here is the tripod. I'll take it out of the bag in a minute. Looks like just cardboard. Oh, there's something in it. A little attachment for the tripod. The attachment for, I believe, the lights, and then your phone attachments. So now before I show the lights, I just want to mention that I'm likely going to use my existing tripod and just put the light configuration on it, mainly because my tripod is pretty much a professional grade. It's a really great tripod, and I just can't see me using the tripod that they gave me. And that is this cheap little tripod. It's less than a pound in weight. Super, super lightweight. Uh, extremely small when it's compact like this. But I think, based on the description, it's supposed to be taller than my tripod. I just don't know. I, right now, just looking at it, I don't like the quality. I do like the color scheme. The red and black looks cool. But it, the quality-wise doesn't look the greatest. So, starting off with where you would screw on your camera or your adapter for a phone... It's really small, as you guys can see. It's only uh, two or three rungs. So definitely not something I would want to put a camera on. I don't think it would hold or hold for long. And the base is really small, in my opinion. Way smaller than my professional one, which I'm currently using to record this video. Now, it does, like I said, supposed to be longer than mine. So I'm just going to extend it here and show you guys. Now, this is it fully extended. And it does not look like it would hold much weight. The website says that it should hold four and a half pounds. I'm really curious if it would. I can't test that today, but it doesn't look like it would. It's really low quality. Now it does extend higher than this. And this is what I do not like on the tripod. So right here, it looks like it's all a support system for the legs. However, when you fully extend it, you take away this middle piece here. And that to me, I don't like that. Mine has the support where it can extend further, except the bar is still down here to support the legs and the whole tripod assembly. So this here, I really do not like so much. Definitely not a fan of the quality and I don't think this would hold or if it does, it wouldn't last for long, but I think this would be great for taking photos with a cell phone when me and my girlfriend are out. And now for the moment of truth, the lights. So I'm going to take it out here. Now it, I'm assuming, is not charged whatsoever, which is fine. But like I said, this here does have a little bit of weight to it. And it seems like the best thing so far as far as quality. It does look like it's sturdy. It does look like it's durable. Let's attach this here and see how it looks. Now again, I'm not going to be using this tripod when it comes to my videos. I'm going to be using my own tripod. But we're just going to be testing this out here. The cable is really long at least. That's really cool. Now to attach your camera or a phone to this, you do need this adapter here. So now you would take a camera or a phone adapter and you would attach it to the top here. I'm just going to use the one that they gave me just to show you guys. So right now this is the light setup of how it would be on the tripod. Again, I'm going to be using my own phone adapter whenever I use it and my own tripod because I do not like the quality of this tripod whatsoever. So I do have my power bank here, we're just gonna plug it in. So now when it's charging, the red light should be on like it is. I'm just gonna press the power button and make sure that it works. 
and it does. This here is the yellow light setting. There's three settings with this light. There is a white light, a yellow light, and then there's one color in the middle. And there's five bright brightness settings for each color. Now, this one here, I'm just going to go through the colors first. So this is the orange light, or the yellow light, sorry. Goes a little bit lighter. White. Oh, there's actually, there's actually five settings in total. So this is the pure white light. There is one lower, one lower, one lower, and then it is a pure yellow light. So that's really cool. It said there was three light settings. There's actually five. And we're just going to take it to white here and just see how bright we can get it. Now, this is the lowest white light setting. And I'm just going to turn it so you guys can see how it looks on me from a side angle, at least. I'm going to turn the brightness up here. So one, two, three, four. And this one is the brightest setting for it. This is the fifth setting, the brightest setting. It's kind of blinding, so I'm not looking directly at it. I'm going to actually turn it down here. I think, honestly, for most of my videos, this brightness might be enough. What do you guys think? It does light me up. So if it was on my existing tripod that I'm recording this video with, I think that would be bright enough that you guys can see all of my face, even if it was low quality lighting in the room that I'm recording in. So this is honestly really, really cool. And I'm really, really excited to start using this product. Now for $50, do I think it was worth it? Absolutely, I do. Now again, the reason why I purchased this is for the lights and the light alone. So $50 for a light that I'm going to be using is absolutely phenomenal. This product is amazing. It's super bright and I'm really excited to start using it for my video. And like I said, everything else that it came with was kind of lower quality stuff. The tripod, in my opinion, was terrible, but I'm going to be using my existing tripod for my videos. I'm just going to attach the light to it. And this phone adapter is really small and will not work with my phone. So I'm going to use my own for that as well. So everything that it came with, some of the things might have been lower quality, but I mainly purchased it for the light itself. It does feel like a professional light, definitely bigger than I thought it was going to be. All in all, I think this is a great light. I am definitely going to be leaving this linked in the description below. Now, for whatever reason, if I forget to leave that link down there, just comment down below and remind me and I will put it in but definitely something that I can't wait to start using. So here we go. I actually have the light set up on my tripod using my phone adapter. And I must say, I absolutely love this quality. Now, this is not the brightest setting for the light. I can change it, but right now it does make my face brighter and it does seem to work. And I actually like this a lot better than not using a light. So I'm really excited with videos moving forward to use this light and I think this is a great product. Now, like I said, some of the products and some of the things that came with it, the accessories, I'm not gonna be using like this tripod here. Definitely not the greatest tripod, extremely cheap. But like I said, I'm still gonna get some use out of it. So instead of carting around my tripod, which does have a little weight to it, this one here would be great for going out with my girlfriend if we want to go somewhere and take photos, we can bring this, it's easy to set up. Lightweight but definitely something that if it breaks, oh well, it came included with this light. So I'm likely only going to use it for that reason. But moving forward, I honestly can't wait. I think the quality of the videos and the videos in general are going to be a lot better because of the lighting. And the lighting is something that I want to take into account for years because there's times for my videos, especially in December, I know of three videos that the lighting in my opinion was not the greatest. I just I needed to record those videos. Otherwise, those videos were not going to come out. And now I can say if I had this lights, I think those videos would have been a lot better because you guys would have been able to see my face a lot more. So now that it is actually in front of me and the light is on, I'm just going to go through the settings really quick. I'm going to up the brightness here. This is the brightest setting for the white lights. Comment down below what you guys think. Do you like this one? I know it darkens the rest of the room, which in my opinion is fine because in my videos most of the time I'm the focus anyways. I'm just going to change the colors of the light here. This is the yellow light. This here I don't really like as much. I do like more of a yellow light or more of a white light. This one here looks in my opinion more natural. But comment down below which one you guys think I should use for my videos more. I'm leaning towards this one or just the pure white light, which is this one. So either the one in the middle or this one at kind of a middle level for the brightness, I think are perfect. 
So I'm going to leave this video here. I hope you guys really enjoyed this unboxing. Comment down below what you guys think of this ring light. I think it's absolutely perfect and I can't wait to start using it more. Now, if you guys are YouTubers as well, or even small YouTubers, do you guys use a ring light? Or if not, how is your lighting situation? I'm going to leave this video here. Comment down below what you guys think and I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.